Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Blood and Venom, Variant 5, the latest variant to drop, and we are in Chapter 2, Quest Number 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the path that I consider to be the easiest path to take when you're doing your initial clear. All right, now before we get in there, I wanted to point out that there are restrictions. You're not going to be able to use your entire roster. All right. It has to be a mystic, a symbiote, or a spider verse hero. All right. Those are the champions you're going to be able to use in this quest. But fear not, there is one champion that rules all of them the best champion hand down for this chapter. And you're going to see him in action. And it doesn't matter whether he's a five star or a four star. He works just fine. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So we're going to enter this quest here. Uh, you see the team that I decided to go in here with. Given my restrictions, these are uh, my rank fives, Venom is a rank four. All right, each one of them is pretty good, but we're not gonna use them for this path. As you will see, there's one champion that just completely dominates this chapter. All right, so the path that I consider to be the easiest is that far left path. Uh, you can usually get a good indication of which path Kabam considers the easiest by looking at the chests and that path has a one star chest on it all right so you can see the um, buffs that we're going to deal with fury fair is fair and dulled fury they have a 10 percent chance to proc a fury uh fair is fair if you nullify you get power lock for like two and a half seconds dulled you have your crit chance reduced uh based on the number of buffs you have and the number of debuffs they have that used to be uh, what was used to counter Scarlet Witch back in the day. However, Dr. Voodoo is hands down the best champion for this path. And you're going to see this over and over again. And what makes Dr. Voodoo so good for this entire chapter, not just this path, but for the entire chapter is a global node called Arcane Torrent, okay? So Arcane Torrent, uh, you have 25 for every buff on the defender, and these defenders have a lot of buffs. Every buff on the defender, Mystic Attackers gain 25% Ability Accuracy, 10% Attack, 25% Bleed Debuff Duration, 25% armor break duration, and 10% power rate. Now, what we are interested in is that power rate, the ability accuracy, and the extra attack. Okay, so what you are going to see, just look at how quickly Dr. Voodoo got to his special three. And you're going to see this over and over again on this path. Dr. Voodoo is just a beast. I find it very difficult to recommend any other champion for this path. Every single defender on this path, you can take out with Dr. Voodoo. So even if you have a four-star Dr. Voodoo, he's still going to be the best option over pretty much anyone else that I can think of. All right. Uh, you don't want to bring in someone that nullifies or else you'll have a bad time of it. Uh, you can do it, but not recommended. You don't want someone that has a lot of buffs um, like Venom. Not a great option for this path. But Dr. Voodoo, you don't want to nullify with Dr. Voodoo. His special one can nullify, but you don't want to use it. You want to cycle special threes. That's it. All right. So look at the buffs that Heimdall has here. Okay. 
So you can see how fast my power gain, uh, just look at it. You know, I'm gaining power faster than my uh, opponent here. And if you ever fought most defenders, you know that they gain power faster than you. But look at this, I'm already at a special three. And once you get to that special three, it's over with, okay? So just take a look at this, boom. You know, doesn't seem like a lot of damage. Look at all these buffs that he's got. Look at all those furies that he has, all of those. And Dr. Voodoo is just gonna keep hitting harder. He's gonna keep getting to his special three fast and he's just gonna wreck. So if you have a Dr. Voodoo, five star or four star, bring him, use him, have a nice day, okay? Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, I'm not going to talk through every single fight because honestly, what you're seeing here, you're going to see for every fight. Uh, so I will come back for the final fight. So if you want to just skip all of these fights, you can, if you want to just kind of get a, a look at the fights and see how Dr. Voodoo handles himself in the different matchups, you can do that as well. Um, but this is Dr. Voodoo's show, okay? Hands down, Dr. Voodoo show. All right, so uh, I'll have some music playing. Uh, I did this live, I won't do it again, but I did my initial clear live, which meant I could not use the audio because of course I'm talking to my chat and everything like that. Um, but uh, what I'll do is I'll play a little music so that you can uh, enjoy the fights if you want to watch these fights. But, you know, I could have sped things up, uh, but I didn't want to uh, rob you of some of the fights that you want to see, perhaps, you know. Uh, but I will resume on the boss fight. So see you there. I'm gonna go to the bank. 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 I'm g
All right, I am back, and we are finally going to take on that final boss. Now, if you watched the entire video, you now know why I find it so difficult to recommend anyone other than Dr. Voodoo uh, for this entire chapter, and especially that path. He just dominates. He's obviously the best uh, candidate for that path. Uh, any rank really will do, but of course you want to rank them up as high as you can uh, get them. If you have the five star, a rank three would be just fine. Uh, if you have the four star, you know, a rank five or a rank four uh, can do it. Um, but we're going to fight this boss here and she's pretty stacked. So there's that arcane torrent that we were dealing with. You have vivified, debilitate, aggression, cruelty, aggression, prowess, and she has unblockable specials. So she's going to be hitting hard and you'd better be able to evade her specials. Now you saw that that fight uh, started in progress. That's because of the glitching of the stream at the time that I was recording this. But Venom went down pretty quickly because she got those poisons. One of her nodes uh, buffs that she gets is debilitate, which increases the duration of her debuffs by 100%. So it pretty much doubles it, okay? Uh, so you get those uh, poisons on you, which is RNG, you're probably gonna go down. Now, my strategy in fighting a boss for the first time is usually to reserve my champions that I feel are going to be very, very good for this. In this case, Black Widow Clairvoyant and Dr. Voodoo. So I'm holding them back while I bring in, you know, some of the frontline troops. And again, another glitch. So we didn't have the finishing of that fight, but we had, um, you can see that uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced got knocked out. He got those poisons on him and it was over with. Okay, so now I'm bringing in Stealth Suit Spidey. Again, just trying to whittle her down. Um, we're hoping that we don't get the poisons on us too early so we can do a lot of damage before we go down. But we have Voodoo and Black Widow Clairvoyant waiting in the wings. So Black Widow Clairvoyant is really good because she has that poison phase or poison curse where she can switch to it. And then when, uh, you know, the RNG doesn't favor you and you get those poisons, you don't have to worry about it because she's poison immune in that phase. So she is a very good option for this. Uh, otherwise, you're just gonna go in there, try and do as much damage as you can, uh, evade her specials and take her down. So I was actually surprised at how well Stealth Suit Spidey was doing here. Uh, you see how fast she gets uh, poor, um, power. It's another buff that she gets, which is the uh, Vivified. Um, and I think the level that they have it there, you can look back. Um, I think it does 150% uh, more. Um, so you're going to be baiting out a lot of specials, but we're, we're taking it. Look, we got that poison on us, and I'm like, oh, wow. But we managed to get her down with Stealth Spidey. We didn't have to bring in Dr. Voodoo or Black Widow Clairvoyant. I was very surprised. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.